Hello, welcome to my mom's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Bye. Hello, guys. So, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks, Candace, for opening for me as usual. You're just lovely. So, today I'll be preparing a really special Cameroon delicacy called Eru. So, Eru is a Cameroonian delicacy and a specialty of the Bayangi people from the Manu division of the southwest region of Cameroon is cooked with shredded leaves of eru. You can spice it up however you want. You can put crayfish, smoked fish, cow beef, you know, you name it. I will leave all the ingredients down in the description box so be sure to check it out. So I'm going to jump right into this eru recipe. It's really straightforward and easy to cook. I hope you love it. So I'm going to be cooking my eru with smoked fish, smoked beef and cow skin. Cow skin is locally called kanda or pomo as the Nigerians like to call it. I start by washing all of this thoroughly and slice to my desired sizes. Then I'm going to first boil my smoked beef because this is kind of tougher than the kanda. I boil for about 45 minutes. After that, I add in my kanda and then just let it continue to boil for another 30 to 45 minutes. Um, if the water is almost dried, you can add in some water. The aim of this is just to get your kanda and your smoked beef or whatever protein you're using tender enough to your satisfaction to go ahead with the cooking. After cooking for about an hour, my kanda and my smoked beef is almost as tender as I would like it to be. I add in my smoked fish and I just let it cook together again for about 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, everything is nice and tender, just the way I want it to be. The water in the pot is almost dried up. I add in my water leaf. After washing and slicing up my water leaf, I add it at this stage. Guys, you can see how fresh that water leaf looks. It's really, really green and so fresh. I used about two sizable bundles. I just throw it in and I use my wooden spoon to mix everything up. After mixing everything up, I let it simmer for 5 to 10 minutes. So after about 5 to 10 minutes, the water leaf is looking softer. It kind of oozes out a little bit of water. Now I like to put in my arrow at this stage because I like everything to remain fresh. I don't like to overcook my water leaf. I put in my arrow and I just tear everything up. So after washing my arrow and draining it through a colander, I just add it into that water leaf and I give it a really good stir. After thoroughly stirring, I just leave it to simmer for about 10 minutes. At this point, all the water is almost dried up, I go in and season my eru. After seasoning, I go in with my palm oil and I just mix everything up after that. So after mixing everything up, I let it simmer for about 10 minutes. This is how yummy and delicious the eru is going to look like at this point. I love to go in and taste to just ensure that all my ingredients and seasoning are balanced. If I feel like something is not enough or something is lacking, I go ahead and I add and just want to make sure that 
it tastes right and everything is okay so once i'm happy with how my iru tastes at this point i go in with my game changer that's how i like to call it because crayfish just changes the game it just makes everything better like if your area was on a 10 it takes it to 100 <laughs> yeah so it can be eaten with gari watafufu pounded yam or semolina it's just amazing you have to try this So after adding your crayfish, you just want it to simmer again for about 5 minutes or so and trust me, this is like this doesn't even do justice to this food. Just know that this food is really good. If you have not had Eru before, you're missing out. Please, you have to try this. It's so, so delicious. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Bye.